we want to talk to two brethren from Compton in Los Angeles who can well grow up amongst the cribs and the blood. You know, for those of you who know the American history there, several years ago, these two rival gangs was creating havoc in Los Angeles. And what happened is that I don't know if them farm alliance, but it kind of eased on until the other day when, um, where the brother name again, um, anyway, we still, find, we still remember his name. We still remember his name, but a famous brethren in a LA that will get shot and everybody go and funeral. Everybody go and funeral. These brethren is... Nipsey Hustle. Mitzi, uh, that's why I love. Me love Nipsey. Nipsey. Hey, she yeah, me love you more than all, me love you more than all Jesus love the children, man. Me, me, me love you. Hey, me go talk to David about you, you know. Yeah, you need to get something. Anyway, when I said, oh, Nipsey was shot, right? Plus others. Well, the two bridging them are there with me is in bridging them and them have the old story. Plus, we want to ask them, how oh, is it that this thing was so a rival ganging and ganging and yet still now we don't hear nothing about it. Maybe something that was done there could be replicated or duplicated in Jamaica because of these rival gangs in Jamaica. So, yeah, we're going to deal with that. The informative information presented in this video is motivational and is positively aimed at inspiring, educating and entertaining the viewers with the cutting edge of critical reasoning. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support. This is Muta Baruka. We want to present to you a wholesome kind of level of consciousness right now. So, subscribe and tell your friend them. This is Muta Baruka. We are talking about how oh, them put you upon a list of people. The, the, where is it? The FBI. Uh, the White House have you upon a list of people. All right, I want you to tell the story. Okay. Peace, family. This is Brother Reza Islam. I know we were cut off earlier, but I'm truly honored to be here with our brother, the Honorable Muta Baruka, addressing uh, Jamaica and others. Uh, yes, the White House placed me on a list of 12 people uh, called the Disinformation Dozen is the name. So if you search that up on the Internet, you will see our names on all the mainstream media. They said that we were spreading misinformation about the virus, misinformation about the shots, misinformation about what the government was doing and their intention, etc. But it turns out that everything we said was true. And because of that, they called us terrorists. They called us crazy. They took us off of all the platforms. They took me off of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Clubhouse, and other platforms. And they basically said these people are the ones responsible for spreading over 70% of all misinformation across the entire Internet. That's for over 7 billion people. So, so uh, they are, oh, oh, you know that them do that. They, they approach you and say, you have to watch yourself. Them tell Kennedy, say, look at this man here. Come like you, you know, and we, we all forget him. Oh, oh, you know. Well, yes, they actually went, it was on national television. So this was under the Biden administration primarily. So Joe Biden and his former, I believe, press secretary, Jen Psaki, came on national television at a press conference. And she announced a list of people. And they said, this is the disinformation dozen. These people, you know, from the White House, they, they came on national TV and they announced our names. So you, you you are now the dirty dozen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, it's not really that, that why you talk about, but that is part of the, the bar. them again. Well, they, they exist. The Crips and the Bloods, you know, of course, still exist. All across America, of course, in L.A., Compton, Watts, Long Beach, but in cities and states all across America. And now, from what I've heard, all across the world in different areas, Caribbeans, islands, even in Europe, there are certain people calling themselves Crips and Bloods. Um, it was originally created to fight against racism. So CRIP stood for Community Resistance in Progress, C-R-I-P. It was a group of us as a people coming together to fight against racist police, but it changed into something else. All right. So what's that? You were saying under all the the Crips them split up and all over the place. And when I ask you, you know, if you give us a little feeling of if them still as stroke, if, if, if them is as powerful as them was, and if not, 
what is it that caused them to to go down and what is it that can be done if them gone down what is it that can be done in okay <laughs> yeah so what you, you remember the question then, right you remember the question then. Yes, so you remember the question I'm going to ask you, Bridget? Yes. All right. Peace, family. This is Brother Reza Islam again. Uh, Brother Muta was asking about the Bloods and the Crips and their influence. And their, are they still together? How they separated? And what's really happening uh, with them in the world? Yes, Bloods and Crips still exist. Uh, yes, there are a number of them actually doing good work. Uh, a lot of them have created organizations. They've created conflict resolution. They've created rehabilitation centers, literacy programs you know, job centers to help the young brothers to get jobs, to get their credit cleaned up, and to help them to get out of the condition that they were in before. There's a lot of elders now who, you know, went through that at a younger age from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and they said, we don't want you to do the same thing we were doing. So they've helped them to now come out of that condition and really go back to the true meaning of what a crip is or original blood, which is to help the community. Um, and now the problem is that the original image of it is now still being seen by people outside of America. So in the Caribbean and Europe, there are a lot of people who, st who still think that the Bloods and Crips all day long are just killing each other when that's not necessarily the truth. You know, they're not seeing the, the evolution. In the, in the communities, them know as legitimate ones who's doing legitimate things. That's what you're saying? Yes, there's, are, there's a lot of legitimate Bloods and Crips who, you know, known as big homies, originals, who are doing good things to change the condition that they, can, you know, that they were in before. They're doing good things to actually make it better. But the negative image is what continues to circulate the planet, inspiring young brothers and young sisters in the streets, in Jamaica, in probably St. Lucia, all throughout the Caribbean, throughout Europe, to say, yeah, blue and red, when, no, there's a lot of people changing that now from where it originated from. All right, you know, we don't have much time still, but I want to ask you, what is it that caused that? In a, in a, in a, I mean, a rich country like America, you know, young youth, I mean, the youth, them run up and long and I kill one another. What do you think caused that? Um, because if you have time for answer, you don't have no time for answer, you don't have to come forward. <laughs> the informative information presented in this video is motivational and is positively aimed at inspiring, educating and entertaining the viewers with the cutting edge of critical reasoning. If you enjoy the contents on the Black Radar YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to show your support.